Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Kool Aid Man 100X. Welcome to College Football 25 Tip Trick Videos. I hope you guys get better at the game. But before we jump into the video, make sure you visit my website, Kool Aid Man 100X.com. Link will be in the description below for that to also support your boy. If you want custom ebooks as well and stuff that comes out on my website, link will be in the description below. Also, if you want to become a member of the channel, Kool Aid Man 100X to support your boy to get custom emails, link will be in the description below for that to become a member. Um, we're going to be jumping into this tip on how to climb the pocket as a quarterback. So these are people that like to do these blitzes and got pocket presence a little bit. I don't really, I do it, but I don't do it because I pretty much get the ball off fast. All my plays are like, you know, check down. So <laughs> these are people that like to throw deep balls. Um, climbing the pocket is stepping up in a pocket like this, stepping up, seeing who's, you know, open and all that other stuff, stuff like that. So people that send blitzes, this is what you want to focus on, just practicing moving in and out the pocket, depending on what quarterback you have, you want to learn how to utilize it. What makes college football a little bit more better is that the gameplay is way faster. So this makes pocket presence a little bit more better and a little bit more easier to utilize moving the ball outside. So as you see here, you know, finding the pocket presence that you want to do and looking downfield at the same time. So without taking a practice room, we're just practicing utilizing pocket presence with my left stick. So a lot of people is not abstradextrous, so you have to learn utilizing your left hand. So a lot of people that's not left hand, you know, you can definitely utilize it, but you can do, you know, a little bit better. Only thing I wish they added to football, even this in Madden and College 25, why can't you spin and juke in the backfield with the running back when you take off running? I don't know why that's not a thing. Vic did it. Don't get it. <laughs> so... <laughs> That just blows my mind. So, uh, what you want to do is just climb the pocket. If you feel as though there's pressure coming, that's when you want to dig and duck and throw. But if the pocket is not open, you want to stay within your, you know, you know, this pocket here. You know what I'm saying? To see where it's going. So, what I would do in here in the practice room would just practice just trying to stay inside the pocket. So, you know, seeing who's open, who's not open, you know, digging up. But me personally, as long as I got a route I can throw to, I pretty much don't give them time to develop in a pocket because it comes down to the plays that you run within a scheme. As long as you got a scheme, doesn't matter. That's why I like studying Peyton Manning, uh, Brady, and, you know, all the big quarterbacks are usually because what I love about it is that if you got the check downs like Brady and the scheme like Peyton Manning, you pretty much good if you can build a scheme around you though because you don't have that much time and if they got slighted hand it makes it even better so they get the ball off pretty quick so you ain't got to stay in here long these are people that stays in the pocket looking for deep throws so you know if you want to learn how to stay in the pocket and throw deep throws stepping up and this give you a big run you got a mobile quarterback cool totally up to you <laughs> Me personally, I like to climb the pocket, see what I need to do, and, you know, hit the dig and duck in case. But to me, I don't really have to climb the pocket because all my plays are ran into a scheme, so I don't really have to stay in the pocket that long. So these are people that like to throw deep. So if you want to practice, practice staying in the pocket, seeing where to run, seeing where to throw, see if the hole is open up because a lot of people run these blitzes. So definitely try to step up into it. And hit them as much as you can. Stay behind the line of scrimmage so you won't be able to get fumbled or anything. So be mindful of that. It's come down with QBs like Alabama. Monroe is pretty much the best for this. So, you know, <laughs> just practice climbing the pocket, practice staying in the pocket and seeing how good you are as a user. That's pretty pretty much it for the tip i hope you enjoyed the video stay locked in also if you're looking for the hidden passing settings to get better at a qb use any line any qb in college football link in the description below for that ebook on my website coolitman100x.com to get that ebook should be popping on the screen somewhere and pop up on the video <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed the video stay locked in i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one